Yes, sir. What's up? What's happening? What's going on? It's your boy, Chang Wang. Welcome to the blog. You already know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell so you can be notified when I drop these videos. All right. I've been waiting for this interview, but let's set the record straight. Before they even got into the interview, um, 21 Savage and Gilly the Kid, he already set it off the break. Whack 100, we not feeling the narrative. Everybody is on the same page. All these celebrities is on the same page. They not feeling the narrative of you trying to paint this picture to everybody that 6 9 was a civilian when he was with Treyway. Like he said, civilians not sitting there putting price tag on dudes' heads, being disrespectful, causing shootouts, orchestrating fist fights, X, Y, and Z. Um, which is which 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 is which is true. Um, I don't know how long they gonna run with this whole six nine and whack one hundred thing, but people were speaking out on it. And um, you know, he wanted to, you know, address the situation and, and ask some questions on like, so what led up to the whole everybody know what happened on Clubhouse. If y'all don't, let me let me let me let me bring you up to speed. Basically it was a conversation that was said between um 21 Savage and uh, Wack 100 on Clubhouse, and um, basically it was, they exchanged some words, 21 said how he felt, Wack 100 got defensive, blah, 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 said he, wanted to, said he wanted to put hands on him, but 21 Savage, he finally spoke out on about it, basically it was, you know, um, he had watched the interview, the interview with uh, DJ Academics, uh, 6 9 and Wack 100, and 21 Savage is basically he wanted to address 6 9 like you saying stuff about me what's up so apparently when they had it was some type of party or some show or something like that they both was there but um 21 Savage didn't know that 6 9 was there until I think till after he left or something like he was already gone like I think his manager told him or something somebody told him that 6 9 was there after he was gone now I don't know if 21 Savage was going to confront him about it I can't say yes, and I can't say no. I'm just going to buy what he said. So basically, you know, he called up academics, and, um, you know, he was just like, yeah, uh, tell, tell yo I want, um, I'm trying to fight, I'm trying to holler at him. So academics, he called 6 9 called 21 Savage back, and said 6 9 wants your number. He like, nah, just call him on your other phone. Now, it was being said allegedly that they was, they was he was on one phone with academics and then he was and six nine was on the other phone, but they was going back and forth, I guess, for forty five minutes. I don't know if that's true. Just going by what they said. So basically twenty one Savage, he summed it up like basically he wanted to fight him. I don't think it's really gonna happen. He said six nine was doing all that rah 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 hype stuff. Um and then basically he was just like, I hung up. Like I ain't got time for that. Twenty one Savage, like, from his demeanor off of what I see, like he real laid back. He don't be with all that going back and forth. Like he 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 seemed like the type of person like I address you about it when I see you, but we ain't doing all this internet stuff that's going back and forth. And that's how you should keep it. You should keep it like that, especially when you dealing with people that just always want attention. They want to be rah rah. Some people they just internet gangsters. He ain't got time for that. So I'm glad that he finally came out and he spoke on it. And um, from what I, from what's being said, that him and Wack 100 they ain't got no problems. But you got to respect the man, 21 Savage, for saying how he felt. You know what I'm saying? It was a good interview. Um, they touched some bases on some other stuff. Uh, and um, basically, I just feel as though, like, this whole 6 9 thing, it's, it's coming to an end now. I'm starting to see it. Like, it's not as much hype to it. Um, but, you know, people, they still going to put their two cents in to it, say how they feel. Um... But like I said, a lot of people not not on Wack 100 side pushing this narrative. Now, I'm not sure how. Like I said, I'm not sure how long it's gonna go on. But this whole trolling thing, this whole you've been in a defense mode for six nine. We all know that you're doing this to get a bag. But at the end of the day, people not feeling it, and you gotta respect that. You can't try to fight everybody that don't agree with you. People got their own <clears throat> way of thinking, their own opinions. And um, like I said, I think the more people that speak out on it, I feel as though Wack 100, he might see the bigger picture, even though he probably not because he want that bag. But it's going to get to a point 
And I think soon that a lot of people is really going to stand tall and not pay this guy 6 9 no mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of people that want to fight him. He's picking and choosing who he want to fight. Now, he want to say everybody picking and choosing. I want to know what he said. Do you think he going to fight 21 Savage? He said he want to fight Meek Mill and Lil Dirk, so why not Savage? But you say you want to fight Blue Face for a bag. And 21 Savage, I don't even think he want no bag. I think he just want to just fight just because. Now, the next question is, see, the only thing about that is with 6 9 is the fact that the dude is on papers, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you put hands on him, you're going to go to jail. So, if if 21 Savage was out in public and 6 9 tried to do all that rah, rah, rah hype stuff, you know what I'm saying? And 21 Savage swing on him and they start fighting, 6 9 can sue that man. You get what I'm saying? Like, so it's like. If it ain't no contract involved, I don't even think nobody need to be trying to fight that man, honestly. Because all he's going to do is sue. Like, and then he doing all these fake stunts saying that these guys is beating up people in the malls and all that. Like, stop it. No, you're not. No, you're not. Me, personally, I think 6 9 will run from half of these dudes that say he want to fight them. But I feel as though he thinks some guys are soft, so he feel like he can, he can test them like a Meek Mill or uh, <clears throat> like a blue face. <clears throat> Now, I'm not saying that these guys are so well, Meek Mill, we ain't even gonna talk about him, but I'm not saying like 20, I'm, I mean, um, Blue Face, but I'm just saying, you get what I'm saying? Like, his demeanor ain't like a 21 Savage or like, even Dirk, though. Dirk got that MS2 and Dirk, I didn't see Dirk Box. I'm trying to think of somebody. Um, I don't know. Just certain people, I just feel like he'll, like he'll try to bully them, but 21 Savage ain't going for that. And I'm glad him and Wack 100, they cleared up the beef because at the end of the day, Y'all definitely don't need to be going back and forth over no 6 9 Like, it's not that deep. You know what I'm saying? He called you a lame because he ain't like how you was moving. You trying to push this narrative. We all know that you're doing it for a bag. Both of y'all both of y'all using each other. 6 9 using WAC 100 to stay relevant. WAC 100 using 6 9 for the clout. Like, it's all a, it's all, like I said, it's all, not stage, but it seemed like it is. It's like some soap opera stuff, man. Um, but y'all let me know what y'all think. And watch that video, too, because it was dope. And it was another thing I wanted to touch bases on. Um, what did he say? He was just like, 21 Savage was just like, yeah, a lot of rappers from back in the day, they was like some bitch-ass niggas. And, um, Gilly D. Kid, I forgot, how, I forgot how that conversation came about, but basically he was just like, like rappers back then, they, they tried to portray that, that image, but they wasn't like that. And then now it was like, he, he made a comment like, Half of the half of the uh the dudes that's in the streets is rappers now. So Twenty One Savage, he was like, man. So when these guys they be trying to say, man, you just a rapper. He like, you don't even like. Basically, you don't know where we came from. Like we were street dudes before we started rapping. And then Gilly the Kid made a good point. It was like back then the rappers wanted to be like the street dudes. You get what I'm saying? So I mean, like it all depends on the person. But like I say. I just feel as though you just shouldn't mix the streets with rap because at the end of the day, it's a business. Like, it's a job. It's an occupation. So, you can't, you know what I'm saying? That's like if you got a, a regular job, like you work at McDonald's or something. You can't be going in there, you know, gangbanging, trying to start fights with people and, you know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. You're going to lose your job. So, at the end of the day, it's like you got to you gotta be professional. Now, I'm not saying that these rappers, they soft, but at the end of the day, you gotta know when to cut. You know, you gotta know when to the the dead certain situations and not bring that to your workplace. Like you know what I'm saying? Like leave the streets where the streets is at. Leave rap where rap is at. Now, if you got something that's going on with somebody an altercation, don't be sitting there. You know, sneak dissing on the internet, make a song about the person. Cause like I said, at the end of the day, what does that do? Incriminate yourself. Deal with it when you see the see the person. Like like twenty one like like how twenty one savage is. Now you might call him soft because he's not going back and forth for rah rah. He ain't into all that. He's not about to say nothing that could be used against him. Phones be tapped. These guys be on social media. Police look at that. You got hip hop police, the clubhouse. You know what I'm saying? Those stuff get pre recorded. They loading it up on YouTube. So at the end of the day, I just feel as though like if you got an altercation with somebody, don't be trying to make it publicly known. Cause then if you do make it publicly known, and then you the one that get beat up. Now it's all in the public. So now you mad. Now it's like your career is going to be tarnished because you about to be known as the guy that got beat up. So let me know what y'all think about that um, 21 Savage interview. It was dope. I rock with Gilly the Kid. All his interviews be raw anyway. And, um, 
Y'all already know what to do. Y'all like, y'all share, y'all subscribe, y'all tell a friend, tell a friend, add a friend, and I'm out. And oh yeah, before I uh, if y'all watch this whole video, I'm a um, I want to do a reaction to that um, that Kanye West album. I listen to it. I'm gonna get my opinion on that. But I'm out.